Hi friends and welcome to the second episode of Back to Basecamp. If you haven't watched the first video, I highly recommend you do that to get a better understanding on what's going on here. So in the first video, I mentioned three core reasons slash goals that I want to focus on when moving back home. In this video, I want to go more in depth about those core reasons. I want to explain them a little bit more. And I also got some questions for you guys. So let's go. First of all, I just want to say that even though I've divided these core reasons into three different ones, I very much believe they go hand in hand, but I would just keep them divided throughout this video to make everything a little bit more organized. So let's start with the first one, spend more time with my family. Okay, so this one is kind of self-explanatory. I want to spend more time with my family, but except just wanted to spend more time with them, I want to focus on strengthening my relationship to them individually and more specifically to my mom and my younger sister. It's eight years between me and my younger sister Selma, so when I moved away almost four years ago, she was just a little kiddo, and now she's growing up and becoming this amazing, beautiful, and hilarious woman, and I want to be a bigger part of her life. I want to spend more time with her, I want to get to know her better, and I'm very happy to say that it's mutual feelings, so it's gonna be great times. When it comes to me and my mom's relationship, I would say it's all about finding the right way to communicate to each other. We very easily get into arguments about stuff that's not even worth arguing about. And I know that my way of acting towards her isn't the best. I very easily get frustrated that she doesn't get me and think like me and communicate like me. And instead of finding a way to make sense of myself, I just act immature and respond in a very unpleasant way. So for an example, me and my dad communicates in the same kind of way. I would say that we understand each other very easily and I believe that that has been a huge reason to why our relationship has grown tremendously the last couple of years. But me and my mom have a harder time communicating. We do have a lot in common, but just when it comes to communicating, we have a harder time doing that. So that's why it's so important to me that we work on that and that we address it. And I don't believe that it's only on me, I think that we need to meet halfway, but I really do need to take responsibility for my behavior and really do my part in all of this. My family is everything to me and having the feeling that uh, I have too much pride and too big of an ego to address my own bad behavior and that that is causing my relationship towards them to not be as good as it could be is a great feeling. So that's why it's so important to me that I work on that. So let's move on to the second reason, which is change my environment and simplify my daily life. This one isn't about making a crazy change because I don't think moving back to my hometown and my family is that. And this one is more about giving myself the opportunity to detach from what have been my surroundings for the last three and a half, almost four years, to move on, to reevaluate my priorities and actually to embrace the amazing and incredible opportunity that I have a wonderful family who welcomes me back home to recharge and refocus. Moving back home gives me the privilege to not stress about money, to be in a calmer city, to be around my family, and it also gives me the opportunity to do a lot of other stuff that I will share with you guys in the future, so stay tuned for that. And the thing about simplifying my daily life isn't about making everything easy. It's more about striving to take away the distractions and get more focused. And I feel like moving to a smaller city with less opportunities compared to living in a big city with a lot of opportunities will give me that. And if not, I hope that I can create that for myself in that environment. So last but not least, we have course number three, which is becoming the freaking best version of myself. This one is very related to Corey's number one. I want to be better towards my family and of course that applies to all the people around me. This one is also about me staying true to myself, staying true to my goals and my vision, to push myself further, to become comfortable being uncomfortable and become an awesome woman who loves who she is and who she is becoming. So this is all about diving deep into my self-development journey and really become the, the person that I know that I can be and become the person that I want to be and really work and tweak all those things that's not really like the best thing about me and as well as tweaking all of that and, and doing all these changes. It's also about me appreciating who I am and where I'm going and the way I'm going, the path I'm taking. It's about self-love and like pushing myself further than I've ever done before. Keep in mind that 
all of these goals and reasons it doesn't have a deadline it's a continuous journey towards greatness and growth you can always become better that doesn't mean that it should be discouraging it should be very like encouraging because you know you can always be better that's a that's an awesome thing right even though it's freaking hard but it, it's a good thing so but i just wanted to mention that and uh, that i don't believe that i will be finished in like a certain period of time that when i've done this for like a few months maybe a year that i will be done and i will be great and everything will be like perfect that's not what i believe but this is just me this time in my life focusing on these kind of goals and honestly i kind of hesitate doing this video and saying all this because I feel in my stomach how freaking hard this will be and that's not a bad thing it's just that it's challenging and that's good because that's what I want to do I want to push myself and I want to become better so things are just as they should be <laughs> um, but I just want to mention that because even though I'm sitting here and saying all of this and mentioning three goals and just having them kind of clarified and so specific it doesn't mean that it's easy just because I know what I want to focus on because it's one thing saying that you want to do something and actually doing it and I don't have a problem saying what I want to do but actually executing and doing it that's my like issue that's what I'm not the best at so I could go on and on and expand on all of this a lot more but <laughs> I'm just gonna stop myself here and I want to ask you guys what are you focusing on right now in your life what are you putting your heart, soul, and energy towards? What are your goals, basically? Share it in the comments down below. Let's stay accountable to each other. Let's grow together. And let's support each other. So, yeah. That's all I had for you guys today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.